Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. We're delighted with the number of people who are out today for the, uh, the launch of our project. It's just great to see everybody here. My name is Danielle Fortoski, and I'm the director of the University of Saskatchewan's Division of Media and Technology. I have the pleasure of welcoming you to celebrate the launch of the Virtual Museum of Métis History and Culture. Uh, we are honored to be hosting the event today on behalf of the Gabriel Dumont Institute and the University. The Virtual Museum is a web-based archive and it was inspired by the Gabriel Dumont Institute to share with the world their years of research and their collection of precious historical resources on Métis history and culture. They shared their ideas for this important initiative with Saskatchewan's Department of Learning, who assisted the project through the Technology Enhanced Learning Envelope. That's the TEL initiative of the provincial government. The Gabriel Dumont Institute then partnered with our division to design and produce all of the historical documents, including text, audio, and video files for the web. The role of our division in the university is to provide the campus and its partners, such as the Gabriel Dumont Institute, with media services for instruction, research, and public service. The university and our division are thus very proud and pleased to be able to play a part in helping make this very important historical resource easily accessible for students and for the general public. We have representatives of our partnership joining us this morning to bring greetings. I'd first like to introduce Calvin Reset. And Calvin, if you don't mind standing, please. Calvin is the executive director of the Gabriel Dumont Institute. Please welcome Calvin. George LaFond is the University of Saskatchewan's Special Advisor on Aboriginal Initiatives. And George today is representing our institution on behalf of our president, Peter McKinnon. Please um, stand, George. <laughs> Darren Prefontaine is the Senior Research Officer at the Gabriel Dumont Institute and has led the project, uh, the production, the entire production has led the whole project for the Institute. So welcome, Darren. <laughs> Dion Roney is from the Division of Media and Technology. Dion wasn't sh didn't, was too shy to be up here today, but we insisted. And Dion has been one of the key members of our team and is responsible for the development of the website, particularly the te uh, technical development. So please welcome Dion. <laughs> and, and Dion will be uh, um, um, demonstrating the, the uh, website in just a few minutes. So before I invite our representatives to say a few remarks, I would like to remind you that we have several displays set up in the hall where we encourage you to surf the virtual museum. And I would also like to emphasize that Gabriel Dumont Institute has provided bannock and tea and coffee and dainties uh, for your enjoyment, as, as well as some giveaways, they say, after this part of the program. So we encourage you to enjoy um, the displays and the, and the refreshments in the hallway after this part of the program. So I would like to first call on Calvin Reset to say a few words on behalf of the Gabriel Dumont Institute. Calvin, please. Well, is it ever dark in here? Uh, I think what I have to say will be short and fairly to the point. Uh, the Virtual Museum is a first. It's a first for our community. It's a first for our for the Métis people. It's certainly a first for our institution. 
to take on a project of this magnitude and do that. Uh, we were just chatting sort of on the way in the uniqueness of it, what it does. We have the ability to take many different themes, different methods of presentation and communication of those themes and putting them together in one format that a person can access without going all over the building. This project shows the richness of our communities. It shows the diversity of our communities. We're not all the same, ladies and gentlemen. It shows our tough times. It shows our happy times. We are now able to show the history of our people in a manner that our community can, first of all, number one, access it. Secondly, identify with it. Thirdly, be proud of it. Fourthly, gather strength from it. And lastly, share it with others. We are able to share our historical story. The Métis people have been for the most part ignored in the Canadian mosaic. This project will show the contributions that the Métis people have made to Canada and the history of Canada. I want to thank some people first. Uh, I want to thank Curtis Hamill and Leah Dorian both for their part in overseeing this project. I especially want to thank Darren for spearheading this project and leading the work. He also has a very able team of contributors who have made a contribution. But most of all, I want to thank our community, our people who have shared their stories, their pictures, their artifacts, their lives. And this is what gives it the unique angle to make this project come alive. It's those lives and those stories that make it what it is. Without it, this project couldn't work. One of the elders once told me a lot of years ago that our people are scattered like birds. That's what she said to me. Our people are like birds. They're scattered all over the place. My friends, this is an opportunity for us to gather up many of those stories, gather up those feathers, those birds, bring them back home, put them in one place, put them in one nest, and we can build that from there. And it's something that our children can be proud of, can stand up and take their place in society and learn from it and be proud of it. With that, I'd like to thank you very much. Well, good morning, everybody. Mia Sin Kakiao for everybody for coming here this morning. <clears throat> I believe that uh, Sir Wilfrid Laurier, uh, upon hearing about the Battle of Batoche, remarked that had he too been born on the banks of South Saskatchewan, he too would have shouldered a musket. I think it's very appropriate that as we reflect upon the 100 years of the anniversary of the University of Saskatchewan, we reflect upon the fact that Sir Wilfrid Laurier laid the cornerstone on July 29th, 1910. And I believe that when he laid the cornerstone, he embodied his vision for this part of Canada to ensure that make we ensure that First Nations and Métis people are included in the new vision of Canada. And, that's, and that this university was going to be a major part of ensuring that Métis and First Nations people also are successful in this, in this institution. Over the last number of years, and certainly the last 30 years, the University of Saskatchewan has worked very hard to ensure that that vision comes true. However, we're no near the end of this. We are actually in a part of the university's life where we, be, where we now begin to re-emerge with a new identity to include First Nations and Métis people. This is the purpose of the special assistant to the president to ensure that the foundation document that this university has incorporated into its work plans uh, ensures that the, in the initiatives that we do today take forward that vision of 1910 and bring it forward to the new, to the new century. So it's appropriate that we gather here today in the studio of the University of Saskatchewan's Division of Media and Technology. This is a place, of course, where many great ideas, and I think of many things that have taken place here that have gone into the, into the uh, uh, libraries of many, of, uh, many uh, video libraries of uh, many organizations, uh, because this is where it came to life. The technology efforts and the uh, support provided by the Division of uh, Media and Technology, and of course the partnership with our partner, Gabriel Dumont, was, is very important for us as a university because it means that we are supporting Aboriginal communities as a university. And it's, it's, so I congratulate the people of 
the Gabriel Dumont for having the foresight to be a partner with the University of Saskatchewan, but also, of course, the people here in, in Division of Media and Technology to ensure that, as a university, we are there making sure that the technology that we have is in support of the Gabriel Dumont's vision for the future. This, this project is very important for a number of reasons. Obviously, as Marshall McLuhan said a number of years ago, reminds us as Canadians that the, the medium is the message. First Nations and Métis people are boldly heading down this avenue and embracing this technology. So I'm very pleased to state again that the Division of uh, Media and Technology and Gabriel Dumont have worked together on every step of the way to ensure that this project is here. I congratulate both of them and congratulations. Thank you very much. Bienvenue, greetings, elders, special guests, students, friends. Thank you for coming to the launch of the Virtual Museum of Métis History and Culture. The Virtual Museum of Métis and History and Culture is a community project. The idea to create it came from the Gabriel Dumont Institute Publishing Department. However, all the culture and all the history that is showcased on the Virtual Museum emanates from the Métis community. Without our Métis community people, who are too numerous to name, there would be no Virtual Museum. We are using their stories and photographs and are highlighting their artistic achievement in order to demonstrate the Métis' profound efforts in the building of Canada. Our department would like to thank all our Métis community people who have contributed to the Virtual Museum. Early on, various government agencies recognized the importance of this project and have provided funding support and encouragement for it. These include Saskatchewan Learning's Technology Enhanced Learning Branch, the Department of Canadian Heritage's Heritages, rather, Canadian Culture Online Program, the Canada Council for the Arts, SAS Culture, and the Government of Canada. The Department would like to thank all of these funding agents and partners for their commitment to ensuring the preservation of Métis history and culture through our virtual museum. Within the Gabriel Dumont Institute itself, many have worked tirelessly in promoting the virtual museum. This includes our Board of Governors, including Dale McCauley, the Chair of our Board, and the Minister of Education, Métis Nation Saskatchewan, our Executive Director, Kelvin Reset, who has been an enthusiastic supporter of the project. In addition, Maureen Bandis, our Director of Finance and Operations, and our entire Finance Department have provided strong leadership and at their administrative expertise for this project. Finally, the Institute's students and staff have also provided helpful assistance and have provided numerous comments for us. The Institute's Publishing Department, including its past coordinator, Leah Dorian, mm -hmm has worked very hard to develop the Virtual Museum. GDI's Virtual Museum team includes Curtis Hamill, the Publishing Department Coordinator, myself, Cheryl Troop, Christine Charmberry, Joseph Fauchon, David Morin, and Terry Huntley. I work with an able and dedicated team who are very proud of their Métis heritage and who are very eager to produce the best website possible. Finally, while the Gabriel Dumont Institute may have had the cultural resources, the staff and community links to gather, organize, and prepare content, we didn't have the technological infrastructure to build the Virtual Museum. Thankfully, we found a wonderful partner in the University of Saskatchewan's uh, Division of Media and Technology Multimedia Unit. And this includes Frank Balk, the director, Sean Zhang, Dion Roney, Dave Tayon, Randy Skirdell, and Dan Mittenholtz, Middleholtz, rather. Now that the Virtual Museum is online, we are not resting on our laurels. We have an ambitious agenda to make the Virtual Museum of Métis History and Culture even better. Indeed, we are looking to expand our relationships within the Institute itself, within the Métis and academic communities, and with various archival institutions. A significant amount of original content will be developed and put on the Virtual Museum this year, including folklore interviews and an Aboriginal oral history symposium. Our goal is to produce the most comprehensive educational, heritage, and historical website relating to any cultural group in Canada. With our able and dedicated team and with your support, I know we will reach this goal. I would like to conclude by thanking all of those who have contributed to or have supported the development of the Virtual Museum. Each of you has given an extraordinary amount of time and effort in ensuring the success of our community project. I would also like to extend a thank you to the University of Saskatchewan Communications Department, including Aaron Tamman and Shannon Cassette for organizing this event. Thank you. It's been a, really, a real delight to work with each of you. With that, I leave you to enjoy the Virtual Museum. Happy surfing. Thank you.
Thank you so much, all of you. And I think uh, Darren gave the cue for the next part of the program, which is to have a look, to surf the vir virtual museum. So Dion, uh, uh, we, I think we have a demonstration of the uh, museum. This is the Virtual Museum of Métis History and Culture homepage. Dion is just loading it up. This is our flash page. This is the introduction everybody sees when they click on to the Virtual Museum. We have some good Métis fiddle music in the background. And this is, I think, a very good thing to have because no Métis celebration is a true Métis celebration unless we have some fiddle music. This is the, the actual home page when you do click on it and you will notice that the virtual museum is divided into six sections. There's indigenous voices, Métis celebration, our proud heritage, learning resources, artistic expressions and the moccasin telegraph. Indigenous voices is the section which houses all our resources relating to Métis heritage languages. This includes Machif. In addition we'll put other Métis heritage languages on there such as Cree, uh, Métis French, Oja Cree if we can obtain resources. And what you'll see when you s scroll on our pages, you'll find a variety of documents online in PDF format. You'll see video clips. In addition, you will also see a number of audio clips. And I just would like Dion to demonstrate to you one of the audio clips online. This would be The Knife Game. And this is from Gilbert Pelche. Gilbert is a senator of the Métis Nation, Saskatchewan, and he's one of the keepers of the okay. Métis Machif um, tradition. You, you and he's speaking in Machif um, right um, now. Um, the next section would be Métis celebration. Now the Métis have always been known to be a festive people. This section contains everything that relates to figging, or pardon me, fiddling, um, jigging, <laughs> uh, and all sorts of cultural events, community events. Most of the material you see on here will be in video format, however, there are other formats involved, including audio format. So if you want to hear a good jigging tune or you want to see some traditional Métis dancing, please go to this section. This section also houses all our traditional uh, storytelling information as well. And here's an example of a jigging contest that was taken in the Prince Albert Métis Fall Festival. Cultural events are also very prominent within the Métis community. Some of the events we have online would be Métis Fiddle Fest. Uh, the, we also have information, or pardon me, video clips from the Isle Across 225th anniversary. And here is one event that took place there. This is the log sign contest. And as the virtual museum progresses, we want to add further community-based resources like this because this is Métis culture, living and breathing. It's not a text-based document. The biggest section of the virtual museum is our proud heritage. This section houses all our oral histories, over 800 plus and growing. It has all our community photographs. Um, all told, we have probably 200 and, or pardon me, 2,000 or more photos online, and this is going to grow significantly. It also contains all our information relating to resistance, and it also has a special section uh, dedicated to our elders and our veterans. And the two most traveled aspects of the virtual museum you'll see on the very bottom would be the oral history collection and the photograph collection. And I think we will have a quick look at the oral history collection just to show you some of the oral histories we have. Everything is listed in alphabetical order and the transcriptions are by name. And here's an example of an oral history interview by one of our late senators of Métis Nation and war veteran Vitel Moran. And here was an example of an interview you would see in PDF format. Uh, Vitel talks about 
what it was like enlisting in the army. He talks about his um, capture by the Germans and the two or three years he spent in a prisoner of war camp. It's a very poignant story. So if any of you are interested in learning more about the Métis role in the Second and First World War, I would encourage you to look at the oral history interviews in the veterans section. Or if you're interested in other aspects of Métis uh, history, please look through all the interviews. There's wonderful, wonderful information there. Photograph collection is also well traveled as well. Uh, the way the photographs are put on the Virtual Museum, we have um, individual photographs donated by community people. We have them listed uh, by family name. In addition, the Gabriel Dumont Institute has put several hundred of its own images on there, including maps for use for anybody who's interested in Métis history and culture. Uh, one image I think I'd like to show you is an image of Gilbert, uh, pardon me, that was donated by Gilbert Pelcher. Now this is of Vitalin and Lily Perrault and their child. And this is one of the images we've used for one of our products. And there are several hundred images like that on the Virtual Museum. And as I said earlier, these are f accessible to the public. Students can use them for their papers. Uh, and we hope to get even further, or further images on the Virtual Museum as time rolls on. Another section we have is the Learning Resources section. And this section contains all <coughs> our educational resources that we put on the Virtual M Museum, specifically for the Virtual Museum. And that would include our essay collection. In addition, we have a number of tried and proven resources that have been developed by the Gabriel Dumont Institute since we began publishing this sort of information in 1985. So for instance, you could click on Gabriel Dumont Métis Legend and you could watch video clips in quick time relating to Gabriel Dumont's life. Or you could learn how to jig. We have steps in time. Or you can learn how to play the fiddle. We have Fiddle About online. Another popular section that we have on the Virtual Museum is Artistic Expressions. This section specifically pays homage to all the traditional arts that Métis women have employed and have been known for, known for. So in this section, you'll have information relating to beading, quill work, embroidery, sash weaving, that sort of thing, and images relating to the final end product. And here's an example of a beadwork bag that we actually have on the um, Oh, wrong one. There we go. That's an example of one of the beadwork bags that we have on the Virtual Museum. One of the things we've developed recently is an actual museum and resource center that the public is allowed or are welcome to visit. And a lot of the resources we'll have on the Virtual Museum will uh, be some of these artifacts, and that's to come in the future. And the last section of the Virtual Museum is the Moccasin Telegraph section. Now this section contains all our links relating um, to various aspects of Métis history and culture in addition to various allied links. And we also have a forum on Métis history and culture that people can log on to and debate and discuss various aspects of Métis history and culture. And that's an, our introduction to the Virtual Museum. Thank you. Thank you very much, Darren. That was that was. Uh, I was even learning a lot just looking at uh, at some of the details that I wasn't even aware was was in the site. It's so comprehensive, and I think one of the things that we can emphasize is this is very unique. Uh, that it's it's putting together resources that are very unique to Saskatchewan, and it's a tremendous contribution to um, the historical uh, the heritage of our country of, of Canada. So uh, this is, I think, I think um, many people are beginning to recognize that, that Gabriel Dumont Institute has preserved and pulled together um, some very unique niche um, uh, resources that are very particular to our part of the country, and it's so important to preserve this. So 
congratulations very much, Darren, and your team to putting this together. So thank you again. Uh, we now come to the part of our program. First of all, are there any questions of any of the, uh, the team? Anybody have any questions about this project? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, on that, we will uh, let you enjoy meeting each other. And um, there are, as I mentioned, refreshments in, in the hall. And you have a chance to explore the museum yourself in the terminals that are set up in the hall. So thank everyone for coming. We're delighted to have you here today. Thank you to our presenters, uh, Calvin Reset, George Lafond, Darren Prefontaine, and Dion, thank you for all your help um, with the technical part of this project as well. Thank you. And enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for coming.